In this tutorial, we will be using Xar Web Designer 7 Premium. This tutorial will cover the basics of the selection tool. Before we get started, let's go ahead and highlight what the selection tool is used for. The selection tool is used for selecting, rotating, resizing, skewing, and positioning objects within your workspace. So, first off, let's go ahead and highlight what the selection tool looks like so that you know what to select. In your toolbar over here on the left, you'll see a list of tools. And we have the first tool selected here, which if you put your cursor over it, it'll highlight and tell you that it's the selection tool. But in this case, it won't since we have it already highlighted. But let's select a different tool just to demonstrate. So we have this t text tool selected. But if you place your cursor over the selection tool, it'll say select your tool. So you're going to want to left click that so that we have that highlighted. And that's always highlighted by default when you open the program. And if you click anywhere in the in the workspace area, which is this whiteboard here, you notice nothing happens. Well, that's because the selection tool by itself doesn't do it doesn't do anything. But when you have objects on your workspace, you're able to manipulate those objects as we stated earlier, such as selecting, rotating, resizing, skewing, and positioning objects. So in this tutorial, let's go ahead and select uh, a quick shape, and that's about the third or fourth tool down which is here and you're gonna left click the square and before we actually draw that square let me also mention another thing whenever you see the small little arrow um, by an object in the toolbar that means there's a series of other selections or other options related to that tool in this case we could select a circle or a star if we like but for the simplicity of this tutorial we're going to just select the rectangle tool so left click that then go to your workspace area here again. You're going to left click hold and drag to the right. And that's going to draw a square on your on your canvas area. Then we're going to go ahead and select the selection tool again. And you notice after drawing the square box and going to select the selection tool, we now have nodes. That's what these are called, these little square boxes around the um, this rectangle object that we just drawn. And what these square nodes are going to let you do is going to let you resize and manipulate the object, um, as we discussed earlier in the video of what the highlights were for um, using the selection tool. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to resize this object. Um, if you notice, there's a center node on each side of this square. Let's go ahead and left click on one of the sides of the square where the square nodes are and hold and drag to the right and you'll notice it increases the size of the object if you drag to the right while you're holding left left click mouse and if you press inward on towards the center of the square it's going to make it smaller and you can make it as small as you like or you can make it as long as you like and if you did the same thing on the left side if you let left click and drag it's going to increase it or if you push inward it'll make it smaller you can again make that as small as you'd like or as long as you would like and the same thing applies if you were selecting the center uh, node on the bottom or top it will increase the height or decrease the height and if you select the top part of that it would do the same thing increase the height or decrease the height so now that you know how to increase uh, one side of the object at a time let's now look at how you would increase um, the whole object in a, a Pacific direction, direction, but make the square overall a larger square. If you w went to the right corner of any of the nodes, which I'm kind of placing my cursor over it so you can see, you know, where they're located. If you're not familiar with the corners of a square, if you left click on one of those nodes and you drag it out diagonally to the right, it makes the whole square a lot larger towards the right. Or if you press inward diagonally, it makes the square smaller and again you can make that as small as you like or as large as you would like and if you do the same thing on the left again it increases or decreases center towards the square to make it smaller so now that you know how to resize an object let's look at how to move an object if you left click with your mouse on the square and you drag it you can move the square anywhere you'd like to on the workspacing that you're working in 
and that's going to be very important when you start to get a lot of objects that you understand you know how to place objects in certain spaces on your canvas area um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to while we have the square selected um, or you know you see the square boxes are still around it we're going to go ahead and left click once and you'll see that the the nodes turn into rec I mean the nodes turn into arrows and uh, the arrows allow you to um, do a couple things the first thing I'm going to show you is how to actually skew the object and um, change the shape of it essentially uh, if you click on the the horizontal arrow that's in the center here it'll skew the object and what I mean by that it'll kinda change the shape of it and you can skew it to the left or to the right um, the other thing you could do is if you click on the square once you'll see that the the arrows are there and if you click on any of the corner arrows it allows you to rotate the object around its center like that and you can rotate that left or right by simply clicking with the left mouse holding and dragging in a circular motion you know left or right and that's what that allows you to do so let's go ahead and, and uh, delete that so select the object hit delete and let's go back and select the square rectangle again and we're going to left click and drag to the right like we did before and then let's go back to get the selection tool and again let's left click on the object one time and you'll see that there's also vertical um, arrows as well in the center points and if you skew that it skews up or downward so it lets you get some pretty creative shapes um, by you know skewing and rotating the objects on your canvas and uh, let's go ahead and delete that one more time by hitting your delete key and let's go back and select the square box one more time left click drag go to your selection tool and left click one more time and in this time I want to show you what the uh, square is rotating around this is the axis point this is what the arrow this is what the square rotates around but if we change the positioning of that let's put it anywhere left click on it and drag it and then select one of those corner arrows it'll rotate around that access point and this is really nice when you want to get something really precise and you need to change the rotation point well let's say you accidentally move that and you're like oh man I don't want to have that you know on that axis like that I wanted to rotate around the center point well what you would have to do is you'd have to um, hold the control key and while holding the control key you're going to left click and drag this uh, axis point to the center so hold your control key and once you hold that control key and, and left click and drag while you're holding the left click mouse it'll put it in the center and then you'll be able to rotate again around that axis so that covers everything in this video for the selection tool um, there may be some other things that the selection tool will apply to but in this case we just wanted to cover the very basics to help you um, understand the value and the power of using the selection tool so again the highlights of this video were selecting objects and moving them around so you know how to select move them around rotating objects by left clicking and rotating around that axis and also being able to skew an object by clicking once it's going to the right or left or also skewing up or down so that should cover the basics of using the selection tool if you have any questions feel free to send us a message on YouTube and also please leave a comment and subscribe because we'll be releasing many more videos to help you learn how to use Xar Web Designer 7 Premium and again keep in mind a lot of these tutorials will apply to older versions and any new versions as well uh, of the Xar Web Designer software thanks again and hope you enjoyed the tutorial